Hey, good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. Happy Friday. I want to touch briefly real quick about something that came up in the practice today, and that is the search and seizure laws under the United States of America, the Constitution of the United States, the laws of the United States and how they're interpreted, and of course the laws of the state of Texas. So the the issue that we were discussing earlier with one of my good friends and a brilliant entrepreneur, Michael Rannigan, was what where, where does search and seizure law and what does it protect and 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 is and especially how that relates to smartphones, iPads, and other other tablets where Touch ID and Face ID can be used to unlock them and. What's important to remember about that is that Touch ID, Face ID has to do with your identity. The Fourth Amendment has to do with protecting your papers and things from unreasonable searches and seizures. Well, friends, you don't have any constitutional right to privacy or protection from your identity. So your DNA, your face, the image of your face, the likeness of your face, and your thumbprint or other fingerprints are used to identify you. They are unique and they are not papers or things that are protected by the Fourth Amendment or from unreasonable search and seizure. So, conceptually, if you've got a tablet that can unlock with your face ID or a phone that can unlock with your thumbprint ID, then that is not protected like a password would be protected. A password six, eight, what have you digit password is protected. It is considered under at least our current laws uh, part of the papers and things that are protected from unreasonable searches and seizures under state and federal constitutional law. So if you're ever considering whether you need to use the six or eight digit pass lock or what have you, if you're carrying around protected information of clients or things of that nature, you need to consider using a step up protection program besides your face or thumbprint because those those are not protected under constitutional prohibitions against unreasonable searches and seizures. I, I hope none of you ever have to contemplate this, but if you do, or if you're in a particularly sensitive data breach type of industry, you know, financial advisor, corporate trustee, et cetera, attorney, doctor, where you're going to be having protected healthcare information or other financial information, that's something you may want to consider doing, locking up so the bad guys don't get it. And those bad guys are not the government of the United States of America or the deep state. They are the people who are launching cyber attacks against our nation on a daily basis. Anyway, I hope this is some help. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday.